In this video, I will show you how uh, Cov, SARS-CoV-2, COVID-19 self-test. This is the colloidal gold test where there is a sample that is mixed with the buffer solution. This is the buffer solution here and everything is included in these kits. It's a kit for testing at home. The swab is supposed to be put in the nose or even in the mouth and here I did took a, I took a sample there was a bit from the nose and a bit from the mouth and mixing it with the buffer solution this is not medical advice I'm not telling you how to do this I'm just showing you how I did it and you should follow the instructions provided with your self-test or the instructions from your medical provider from your doctor the self-test is a way to do a quick test at home if you have any suspicion that you might be positive and this is the test contents now i'm putting three or three to four drops after mixing the sample from the nose with the buffer solution i mix it a lot more than they say in the instructions i thought i didn't really hurt and now the real time clock starts after putting four drops of this and on this test this sample even though it was a more sample a bigger sample than another test i did which showed immediately i will put a link in the description to the the test where the t line shows before the c line in this case the line doesn't really show so quickly but you will see that slowly slowly it starts to show these tests are meant to be kept for 15 minutes so you make the you put the sample on the s pad and if you have a line only on the c area it's a negative test but if you have also a line on the t area even if it's faint like you see now even after 15 minutes if it's only like this just a little bit that's still a positive test and if you have only a line on the t area without a line on the c area it's a invalid test or if you don't have any line it's also invalid test and then you can just repeat the, the test make another one but this is in real time you see after one and a half minutes and it starts to show a little bit the video in the description the other video there is another type of test and here actually it was after cleaning the nose with some uh, saline solution and you might think that you can make the test not show positive by cleaning your nose but the sample of the virus is there this coronavirus uh, SARS-CoV-2 COVID-19 the, the rapid tests are not very sensitive they say but it was sensitive enough to catch even the sample after after watch, washing the nose basically so after two minutes and a half it's getting more and more clear and it only gets clearer after this this is still in real time two minutes two minutes 30 seconds if you have a positive test result you should contact your doctor this video is not medical advice i cannot tell you what you should do it depends on each country everyone has different rules different counties they have different isolation rules depending on a lot of things so the best thing is to contact your doctor or the a phone number in a lot of countries they have a, a phone number for for, for information about covid 19. this is really what i think 
everyone should do and um, it really depends on each country on what measures and isolation and what needs to be done it depends if if the line is very weak if it shows how it was showing in this video at the first minute very weak it might also mean that the the amount of virus samples it's lower so it could mean that hopefully it's not so bad but it could also mean that the sample just didn't collect enough of the virus from the nose this the swab is supposed to be put in the nose as it's written in the instructions where they say how you're supposed to do it and if it happens that it doesn't have enough samples it might sl show slowly but here actually it's getting pretty clear that it's a positive test so this is a positive test result and it's speed up now on uh, six six times the real time speed yeah this is the this is the test result hopefully whoever gets positive test is okay just taking care checking the temperature it could also be fever for different people different different symptoms the best thing is to be in contact with your doctor not to overload them because they might have a lot of other people they take care of but if you feel bad you should tell them and they might ask you to watch out for some things and also it's nice to have a oximeter this pulse oximeter small device that you have on your finger it will check the uh, blood oxygen level I'm not sure if they're really good if they really work but okay if you do it measure it a few times it won't hurt yeah this is this is something your doctor might tell you to do or they might tell you no need to do that if you don't feel bad or anything it's it's up to you and your doctor usually a uh, a test like this is confirmed by another test in a lab or in a testing center to make sure that the self-test is really valid because it could be a false positive so if you get a positive test result and you feel fine um, you don't have fever or anything you might just do another one to make sure the test is actually valid